guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Guy on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be a try on clothing haul. You guys enjoyed my last try on clothing haul so much that uh, I decided to do another one. This one isn't very big, but I did go to Target the other day. They had a massive summer sale and I got a few bits and pieces. I also went to Myers. They were having their massive summer sale as well and I got one item from there and then I got a few little bits and pieces of makeup from Chemist Warehouse as well. So while this is predominantly a Target try on clothing haul, I have a few other little bits and pieces thrown in here as well. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy my videos, then please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life as geek guy without further ado if you guys want to see the things that I got from Target Australia as a try on haul then just keep on watching this first outfit I bought, I am so entirely obsessed with. I've actually already worn it out on a couple occasions. And I absolutely love darker sort of clothing, but with bright colors contrasted against it. So I really love this top. Like you can wear it not as a crop top, but I'm actually pretty happy with where my body weight is at the moment. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident and a little bit more, I don't know, sassy with my outfit. So you can wear this top on its own with just some generic bottoms that I have or you can wear them with matching bottoms. I got matching bottoms for them too. These little shorts are so freaking cute. They're probably a little bit short. Like if I bend over, you might be able to see just a little bit of my bum cheeks. But I mean like it's summer, you know. Thumbs out, thumbs out. Maybe. Just own it. Like I'm really owning this outfit. I love it. I feel sassy in it. I feel sexy in it. And I absolutely love how it looks. I'm so tempted to go back to Target and like buy more stuff. Maybe I will, I don't know. The clothes there are so cute and the sale was on so this whole entire outfit, I think it was like $15 for like both the top and the bottom. The next few items of clothing I actually got are some really nice generic tops. Like I'm always running out of casual tops to wear. So this one's just like a basic sort of singlet top. And on the front it says wild and free and it's just sort of like a light blush pink. I'm not a huge pink wearer but I actually like this sort of dusty more gray toned pink. I know it's a bit of a long singlet. What I like about this as well is you can tie it up and wear it as a crop top. It sort of cuts off the printing at the bottom but that doesn't really bother me. So like tie a little knot and then like roll it up or something. I think it's so cute. I never used to wear these fashion of clothing but now I'm a little bit older I try and wear less little girly type of clothing. I don't know. This is I know this has florals and bright colors, but I, I just I just really like it. My my taste and style of clothing has really changed over the years, that's for sure. That's one singlet top. Really, really like this one. The next one is a plain white singlet top. It says sun kissed on the front of it with some like yellow flowers on it. If I am gonna wear this top, I probably should wear a proper bra. I'm really only just wearing nipple covers at the moment because they're so comfortable. Um, <laughs> probably TMI. But anyway, yeah, I really like the singlet top. It's just another like plain everyday sort of singlet top. I actually kind of like it like not folded up, but even if I wanted to fold it up, like I could wear it as a crop top like this again as well or tie it up at the back. Yeah, and these singlet tops were only $5, like $5 guys. I'm so tempted to go back and like buy some more. <laughs> I also got this just plain red t-shirt. I didn't buy it so much for the color and the feel of the t-shirt. It's so loose and silky and smooth, not silky in a way like synthetic type of hot, but it's really, really light and it almost feels like I'm not really wearing anything. Again, just a nice casual sort of t-shirt, but I really like the way that this looks with just a nice generic pair of shorts. Summery, loose, and airy. <laughs> and this top, I believe, was $8. If you couldn't already tell, I love bright, colorful things, and this is another one of them that I am so obsessed with. Like this top, I think this top was about $8. I couldn't find any matching bottoms with it. That would have been so epic if I could have found a matching bottom with it. But I actually like the, how this top looks. I'm wearing it without a bra at the moment. I'm just wearing nipple covers. This one is another really loose, flowy, summery sort of top, and it's just 
I'm obsessed. I love the way it looks on me as well. I mean, it definitely helps that I'm really happy with my body weight at the moment and I'm feeling good and healthy. And so that gives me a little bit more confidence to wear clothing like this. It just sits nicely on me and I can just wear clothes like this all the time. <laughs> okay, this top I actually really like. It's an off shoulder one with the frills around the shoulders. It doesn't come down too long for me. That is a huge problem that I get with a lot of clothing. It might fit on the top, it might fit at the waist, and then the bottom of the top might be just way too long. But what I love about Target clothing is that their size six or their size eight is a true size six, is a true size eight. And the proportions to it, like the boob, the waist, the hip, the length, is generally quite spot on for me. So I really like that about Target clothing. What I really like about this top is that it comes down just below the boob. So if I'm not wearing a bra with this top, like the sort of frills might give me a little bit of extra coverage around the boob area, but I really like this top. It's so cute though, like, look at this, look at this. <laughs> it's very summery, it's a little bit of a thicker material, so it is a little bit warmer than what I might like at summer top for. But I actually like, I just like the way it looks. You could wear the shirt tucked in as well, or maybe, actually, not, it's not long or stretchy enough to tie up as a crop top, but I love the way that this one looks. I think this top was like $10, and I got this in black as well. I would show you the black one, but I had to put it in the wash because I wore it when I was filming my anti-Valentine's Day makeup look, and I got scab blood in it, it was really sticky so I had to put that one in the wash but it's exactly the same cut and shape of this top only it was black and I love how the frill goes all the way around the back as well I absolutely love that it. it's an off shoulder you can wear like one side on shoulder and the other side like down here or you can wear both sides down or you could wear both sides up like sort of just off the shoulder I love it I love this top okay the next one is a dress I am so in love with bright summery colorful clothes at the moment and this one is just my aesthetic this dress is my vibe right now I just love the way it looks again it's another off-shoulder sort of dress the material is very flowy and summery and loose and I just love the way that this one looks on me I'm really feeling myself right now I don't know if you can tell but I love clothing try-on hauls <laughs> sorry if the lighting in this video is weird the Sun is like in between going up and going like the Sun is almost going down but not quite so it's like the light is fluctuating waiting in the room but I hope you guys can still see what I'm wearing love this dress the only thing about this is sometimes the shoulders like pop up again and it ends up becoming an on-the-shoulder dress which I actually don't mind as well you could wear it like that too but I actually kind of like to show a bit of shoulder especially if I'm wearing a bit of shoulder highlight as well okay that's it for the Target clothes that I bought I'm gonna also put on this really gorgeous flowy summery dress that I bought from Myers. Okay, I'm going to turn the light down so you can actually see what the dress itself looks like. So the dress itself is like a silky sort of summery dress. It's got frills down the side. I'm not going to button up the back because I probably won't be able to take it off. Oh, no, I can't do it. <laughs> the dress itself is so silky and flowy and summery and I absolutely love it. I actually probably see myself getting really, really hot in this dress because it is entirely synthetic. The lining is synthetic as well. But I just love the way that it looks on me. It feels so summery and loose and flowy. And I'm actually planning on wearing this dress to a wedding that I have coming up very, very soon. I'm just hoping that wearing white doesn't work itself against me because knowing me, I'm probably going to spill something on it. I'm probably going to smudge it with makeup or whatever. I'm just, I'm going to wear this and then bring something else to change into just in case. <laughs> The brand of this is Piper. I got this from the Myers Summer Sale. I think the original price on it was $129.95. Then it was cleared down to $70 and then it was cleared again further down to $40. So I got this dress for $40 and it's so freaking pretty and beautiful and summery and I love it so much. <laughs> Also, like I mentioned before, I got a few bits and pieces of makeup from Chemist Warehouse and Target. My local Target doesn't have a huge range of a lot of makeup, but I did manage to pick up the Essence Mascara All Eyes on You because I've heard Tati Westbrook talk about this mascara and she said it's her holy grail drugstore mascara, so I picked it up. And it's actually what I'm wearing on my eyelashes right now, and I love the volume that this gives me. And this is only like $5 or something, so I'm definitely going to be using that one again. I also picked up two of the Essence Matte Blushes. This one's in the shade Peach Me Up, and this one's in the shade Bury Me Up. I have used Essence's Silky Touch blushes in the past before, and they're absolutely beautiful. They used to be my holy grail blushes. 
up until the point they were discontinued and they couldn't really talk about them on my channel anymore because obviously they're discontinued and you can't buy them anywhere. So I picked up these Essence matte blushes and hopefully they are just as beautiful as I remember the silky touch ones to be. I also got another backup of my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation. If you've watched any of my makeup videos then you'll know this is my absolute holy grail foundation. It's what I'm wearing on my skin today. It makes my skin look so freaking nice and it, even though it says it's matte, it's not like a powdery dry sort of matte. It just works really well for me. Also from Chemist Warehouse, I picked up this highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. Now I'm actually so thrilled to be able to get my hands on this because this one came out like probably in the US maybe like a year ago and Tati Westbrook keeps talking about this highlighter. She says it's one of her holy grail drugstore highlighters and when I saw it at Chemist Warehouse, I almost screamed in delight because it's taken 12 months for this next shade to get out here to Australia. The other Master Grome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold, as you can see, it's very much well loved and used, so I'm really excited to try this other one in the Rose Gold shade. I've got another backup of this one. This one is so freaking good. If you guys have not yet tried the Maybelline Master Chrome Face Studio highlighters, then get on this bandwagon because these highlighters are amazing. And generally, Chemist Warehouse will have maybe 15, 20, 50% off sales with their Maybelline or L'Oreal range. So you can generally get these for less than $20. Also, I've just mentioned in one of my videos that I keep on using the same Morphe bronzer over and over and over in all my videos. You all probably so sick of it and be like, oh, Judy, get another bronzer. Try a different bronzer. So I picked up the Maybelline City Bronzer Press Powder and I wanted to try this one. I find that a lot of Maybelline powder is actually really, really good. So I have pretty high expectations for this Maybelline bronzer. It is a really good shade for me. It might be a bit dark for most people, but this one's actually a really good shade for me. Maybe it's just a tad little bit too dark, but better too dark so it'll actually show up and I'll just apply it with a really light hand. Okay, now you guys, I'm not being risque. This is not lingerie. This is a swimwear, okay? This wouldn't be a complete summer try on haul if it didn't have at least one bikini suit in it. So, yeah. I got this from Cotton On Body. The tops were $5, the bottom were $5, and this is it. <laughs> I haven't worn it out yet. I probably need to go swimming at least once this summer. I don't like swimming in the ocean. I love the beach, but I don't like swimming in the ocean because you never know what's gonna bite your foot or something. That's just a phobia of mine. But I love how this swimsuit looks on me. I mean, there isn't much to it. And I hope that this video isn't taken down because, I mean, what's the difference between walking in this out in public as opposed to putting it on the internet. Just as many people will see you anyway. And people will watch and people will forget. So that's my uh, theory as far as posting this on the internet because I mean like, it's a swimsuit. People will see you in exactly the same thing if you're out in public. So if YouTube decides to take this video down because I am in a bikini suit, then uh, that's called double standards, guys. I'm gonna put some clothes on before I film my outro. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. That was my clothing, chemist warehouse, Target, cotton on body, like one set swimsuit <laughs> haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you wanna see more try on clothing haul videos, then give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more of these, if you wanna see a thrift store clothing haul. I'm trying to not buy as many clothes as I used to in the past simply because um, I'm saving up to buy a house and I don't really need more clothing. These clothes I know I will definitely wear because I've sort of been scraping through my drawers looking for maybe like a casual tank top, something to wear with a pair of like casual denim shorts. So I know I will definitely be wearing these outfits. I have actually already worn a lot of these outfits out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek Eye. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Just for shits and giggles, Without further ado, you guys, without further ado, in a try-on clothing haul, and then I'm actually pretty happy with my body with some, ooh, it's a bit bright. So cute! <laughs> we might cover my, the only thing about this is sometimes the, ooh. So yeah, really freaking love this dress.
so much.